Welcome to our first At The Net segment. I'm Connor Onion. We're joined by Indiana State head coach Ashley Pritchard, who just started her second year with the Sycamores. Coach, thanks so much for doing this. We're excited to have you on. How are things? Uh, things are great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Congrats on getting win number one this weekend in Cincinnati. Um, first quick overview of those first three matches. What'd you like? What would you like to carry into the second weekend? Yeah, no, I, I thought our team played really well. We knew we were coming into some really good competition for this first week. And it was really good test for us to see kind of where we were at, some of the things that we worked really hard on the spring, um, just getting a chance to play somebody other than ourselves um, was really good. I thought, you know, some of the improvements that we needed to see from last year, I thought we did a really good job of that. Um, you know, the Cincinnati match was a struggle for us. We were a little bit tired towards the end of that, um, but we had some freshmen come in and some key spots and some newcomers come in and I thought they did a really good job. Um, so, you know, for us to walk away from that tournament one and two, um, you know, beating a really good Alabama State team, I thought was really exciting for us and just to continue to build uh, as we keep going on this this schedule, I guess. Your roster is uh, split as far as new players and players that have come back, eight new players, eight players that came back, which tells me that the players that played for you in your first year liked playing for you if, if you brought somebody back. Why do you think uh, that group enjoyed uh, being with you in year one? Yeah, I think, you know, the eight that we've got coming back, I think, you know, for us coming in last year is just a new staff. Um, classes started a little bit earlier than some. So we only had one week of preseason. Um, and so you just, you know, once preseason gets over and you're thrown right into your schedule, um, you just kind of have to go really fast. Um, and I thought, you know, we were able to really develop those relationships with our returners in the spring, getting a chance to work with them in the gym on a, you know, much smaller setting, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or doing positionals with them. I think we as coaches got to know them a little bit more. They got to know who we were more. Um, and just, you know, for us to, the as long as the trust is there and the respect is there um, between the coaches and players, it's really good things can happen. Um, and so I thought that was, you know, it was fun for us as coaches this spring, um, just to be able to, to get those returns in the gym and, and get to know them a little bit more too. One of those returning players, Corinna, comes out this weekend, uh, a couple of double doubles in your first two matches. What stood out to you about uh, some of the improvements she's made from year one plan for you to this first weekend in Cincinnati? Yeah, you know, Corinna's one that we we spent a lot of time with her in the spring with just being aggressive um, and, and not being afraid to make the mistake. And, um, you know, I think when she struggled a lot last year, you know, and, and had some of the moments this past weekend, it's she's afraid to make a mistake, I think, a little bit. And so we spent a lot of time like, make a mistake, you make an error, it's just one point. Um, and then let's go get the next one. So I thought, you know, especially Friday and Saturday, I thought she did a really, really good job of that. Um, we sped up our offense a little, you know, especially compared to what it was last year, um, which kind of goes a little bit more in towards, towards her wheelhouse. Um, she doesn't have as much time to think, um, especially about thinking about making a mistake. And so um, I think that goes into a lot of what she did in the off season um, with, again, not being afraid to make mistakes and that's how we get better. Um, so I think that was really, really good for her to see what it can look like against some really good competition. Why did you want to play a little faster tempo? I think it fits more into the returners, the athletes that we had that stayed with us, um, but also then the players that we had coming in, um, you know, for for me and then my coaching staff, that's what we've done the last couple of years, um, you know, at our previous institutions. And we not, we're probably not going to be the tallest team, um, you know, we're our tallest player might be six, two with shoes on. And so we've got to find a way to be able to score. Um, and so for us, the speed was, was crucial with, with how we're going to be successful um, and, and continue to build up what we're doing and, and kind of turn it around from last year. Thinking about you, you mentioned your last stop uh, at Marion there in Indiana, um, NAIA national champion. You had uh, so much success in your decade there. So it's not like you were stepping into totally unfamiliar territory taking this job, but uh, from from this point last year to coming into this August, where do you feel like your biggest growth point has been as a head coach? You know, I think it's, I will be thought, like the first thing I say, the rules in the NCAA are obviously way different than the rules in the NAI. Um, so I think it's feeling comfortable in the, in the new system and, and how that works. Um, I think, you know, walking into to some of the bigger arenas and it's just the court's the same, the net's the same. Um, and just being able to develop, I think the system that we want to run um, with the athletes that we currently have and the ones that we've got coming in is, you know, especially to see what it, 
what it looked like against a really good Xavier team this weekend. That was, you know, great coach, great discipline with them, a really good team. And obviously they beat, they went out and beat Cincinnati. Um, what we want to do is there. Um, and it's going to take us to a really high level. We just got to be able to put it all together. Um, and so I think that was exciting for us to see that, Hey, it might be, you know, we're playing in the NAIA, but well, the still the values are still there. The the skills are still there. What we want to train, what we want to do, can be really successful here. And I think, you know, especially as a coach, that was really good to see it this week and and against really good competition um, to see how that can work for us. Yeah, uh, I wanted to ask you about a new member of your staff that is familiar to Valley fans with Melina Tedro, who was the all time digs leader at Indiana State. Now she's straight off the court to being one of your assistants. Um, obviously just getting started as a coach, but why did you trust her at such a young age to take on such a big role? Yeah. So, you know, with Melina coming in last year, you know, everybody's, you know, she's kind of the heart and soul of the team. She's one of the, that, you know, is the leader. And I think we were able to see that last year on the court, just being the little barrel, being the one that, you know, kind of kept everybody on the same page, um, you know, for her being a fifth year as new coaches coming in, she could have been, you know, Hey, I'll just do my own thing. It's my last semester. I've obviously been a really successful player. I don't need to change what I do. Um, but she, you know, she wasn't that type of person. Okay. You want me to do this footwork this way? I've never done it before, but I'll do it. Um, and I'll work really hard at that. And so for us, you know, having someone on staff that can bridge that gap between those student athletes and between the coaches was really good for us. Um, it also helps she's getting her master's degree here at Indiana state. So she's taking on that role as a, as a graduate assistant, but um, she's doing a really great job for us. And I think the players obviously trust her um, because they were teammates for her with her, whether that was one year, two years, three years, um, that that trust was already there because she worked hard off the court and on the court with them. So we're excited to have her on staff and, you know, to continue to to help her as she navigates the coaching realm um, and see if this is something that she wants to pursue. She's, of course, been in uh, almost the exact same shoes as Macy Loniger, your new libero. Um, yeah. How has she helped Macy specifically since, you know, Melina's lived what Macy's going through? Yeah, they they have a very special bond. Um, you know, for us, it's with Melina playing left back. And when Melina played left back last year for us as our libero, it was different. Um, she hadn't played out there before. And, um, you know, she had pretty much stuck to middle back. And right now, Macy's playing a combination of both. Um, and so we're doing defensive drills. And Melina's always the one that's next to Macy, reminding her to do her footwork or hey, you've got to get to this spot here. I'm going to stand here, come to me every time. Um, so the two of them have done a really, really great job. Melina's done a really great job of, of helping Macy um, just kind of get used to the the speed of the game, um, but then also having someone who's who's right there in her corner every time. That's great. That's great. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, weekend number two in uh, non-conference, you're going to Lindenwood, uh, three more matches. Uh, final one is on ESPN Plus, so you can catch the Sycamores there. Uh, what do you want to take from week one in Cincinnati and, and carry over into your second weekend of non-conference? Yeah, I thought we, our surface seed was really well. We did a really great job of that. Um, and so I'm excited to see how we continue to build on that. Um, you know, we've got to get a little bit better from the blocking standpoint. Um, you know, so we've had some injuries where we've been limited in some players. Um, so to be able to get those players back this week is going to be really exciting for us. Um, you know, they get their off day today. Then we'll be right back at it again on Tuesday, but um, excited to see that. I thought we did a really good job of just meshing well together. I thought our sideline did a really great job with keeping the energy going. Um, you know, I was really proud of our team. We got in some big holes, but we're always able to climb out and, and claw through that, which I don't know if that necessarily had been the case every time last year. So um, I think the more this team, you know, like you said, it's split down the middle, eight and eight with eight new ones and eight returners um, to be able to continue to develop those bonds, develop those trusts. Um, the more we play, I think is only going to take this team to new heights. Coach, you're setting the standard for us. You're leading us off with this segment. Thanks so much for doing it. No, thanks for having me. Thanks. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, you can catch the Sycamores. Coach Ashley Pritchard this weekend. They're going to Lindenwood, uh, the final of those three matches on ESPN+. And, of course, you can watch a bunch of their conference games on the Valley on ESPN.